All right, this is week number six of my studying French challenge, and here's my progress so far. Bonjour, ma appartement, j'ai deux pièces, il y a uh, deux uh, toilettes et un grand salon. Uh, il y a un parc près d'ici et un supermarché. J'aime habiter à Brisbane. Alors, uh, aujourd'hui, uh, nous sommes vendredi et Uh, maintenant, uh, je, nous allons uh, à la, au restaurant uh, avec ma famille et je voudrais un fruit de mer, un, un café et un croissant, s'il vous plaît. C'est tout. So that was it. Uh, as before, uh, during my uh, week, uh, I used a few uh, things. Mainly was a, a Duolingo application, I'm still using this. It's a bit less time I dedicated to this, but still I have I know a few sessions with this, so it's up to maybe 15-20 minutes a day. Uh, apart from that, uh, this week uh, I just checked that I listened to 20 uh, audio podcasts from uh, Coffee Break uh, French. So that was 20 of the podcasts. Uh, it was pretty fun, even though like at the end of this, like probably half of the season, so they tried to revise something and uh, I was a bit lost in some of the topics, especially with this uh, counting. Uh, it's not a, my big uh, kind of uh, strength at the moment, but yeah, I understand that just I have to probably work on it a bit more. Apart from that, I also uh, read one of the fairy tale, uh, uh, a Petit Poulet. So from the, the French experiment website, uh, that reading was fun. Uh, probably without translation, I would understand the main idea. Uh, maybe seventy percent of the uh, of the things that is going on there. But the, what I love about this website, they just provide the translation and the audio uh, matching this uh, French um, uh, fairy tale. So it was a big fun. Uh, apart from that, probably the most interesting, uh, like exciting thing about the French this week was that how they call uh, seafood in French. So they literally call it uh, un fruit uh, de mer. It's like a fruit of the sea. And that was uh, kind of probably not as funny, but I do remember that in um, a Forrest Gump movie, there was a, um, I don't know, one of the friends in the army, the Boba. Uh, or Booba, uh, that I explained to For Mr. Forrest Gump uh, the way how you can uh, cook the shrimp. And so at the end of the story, like oh, maybe the beginning, he was calling the shrimp as a fruit of the sea. That's why it was funny to, to hear the same thing about uh, how they call seafood in French, uh, un fruit de mer. Uh, that was it probably for this week. Uh, I probably will try to read one more, maybe a, a few more texts because I felt it's very, very beneficial for the vocabulary and uh, for the learning in general. And also we'll probably keep doing the same things with this Duolingo and uh, audio podcast. So that is from me for this week. Uh, salut and à bientôt.